Okay, so for the final uh, final adjustments here, um, we're gonna bust into our uh, idle two, which I consider to be your 3D mode. Um, and do remember before we get into this, uh, if you guys do have a radio that only allows for um, one of these modes, then uh, by all means you can choose to do one or the other. It all just depends on what your flying style is and uh, how you're rolling. So our pitch curve on this one now you'll notice is straight linear. It's going to go 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Okay? We're hitting a plus 12, a 0, and a minus 12 at our high, medium, and low. Okay, um, and this is how you should have programmed the helicopter at the very beginning. Um, all the other stuff is adjustments from this. Okay, so you've got your your full negative 12, your zero at center stick, and then you've got your uh, your positive 12 right here. Okay, so keep that in mind. If 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 this pitch curve doesn't work out linear, then there's there's uh, adjustments that are uh, off on the helicopter. Because um, once again, this is like your, um, this is how you should have programmed the entire heli, okay? So, um, and basically that's all it is. Your 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 pitch curve in your idle two or three D mode is just should be linear, um, just zero, twenty five, fifty, seventy five, a hundred. Um, so that one's actually pretty basic, uh, not too advanced at all. Um, so, uh, difference between that and sport flight mode is just maybe one to two degrees on your full negatives. Uh, and your positives, and that's about it. This will, when we kick into our idle, uh, idle two throttle curve, it's going to give us a little bit more power. So I added that extra amount of uh, pitch on there to to compensate for the load, and um, uh, get us a little bit more pitch for a little bit more uh, quicker movements and things like that. So let's move on to the uh, throttle curve. Okay, so looking at the throttle curve here for our 3D mode, it's going to be very very similar to the. Uh, the idle up one or sport flight mode we're just going to get a little bit more power out of the motor okay and um do realize real quick guys before we continue um these curves are going to be more suitable for an electric helicopter i should have stated that towards the beginning um so if you're running a nitro and you started doing this i apologize um a nitro is a little bit different if you're using an if you're uh, running a nitro helicopter and uh you're not using a governor your uh, your pitch curves and your throttle well, your pitch curves will be the same but your throttle curves are going to be a little bit different um, realistically the only difference between your uh, idle one and idle two um, on a nitro is you're going to want more more of a V curve um, so on our electric we kind of just go 90 93 95 on a nitro you're going to kind of want to uh, you know what I mean get more of a V curve more of a ramp up um, and that's something I can always make a video of later if I get any request requests for it um, so anyways with that aside let's continue on here so we've got our uh, this one's gonna just be a, a little bit of an increase uh, we've got our low medium and high once again um, and on this one I just did uh, 95 93 90 at center, once again, 90 matching our zero, um, and then just 93 and 95. Um, basically, we're flying around in our idle one. We feel like we want some power. We're getting a little risky. Um, we're going to kick it up into that idle two. We're only really getting, we're going from an 80 85 curve to a 90 95. So, realistically, um, at any given time, there's really only about a 10% increase. Um, that's happening uh, between the two different modes. So we added an extra degree of pitch, and we've got that little bit of a 10% increase in uh, in motor speed. Um, is going to allow us for a lot of uh, snappier movements. Um, you know, a little bit faster punch out, power loops. Um, basically, overall, this is the top performance that the helicopter is going to be able to achieve. I mean, you're you're maxing it out. You're running a you're running it at its full. Um, all the pitch, all the all the motor speed, and everything. So this is this is going to be for the aggressive 3D flying. Do take into consideration though, even just hovering around and uh, you know doing stuff like stationary hovers and stuff, you're going to be really really rock solid and stable in this mode. You've got the highest head speed and the most amount of pitch for for really fine tuning uh, adjustments while you're flying. 
Um, me, um, I always, always fly in this mode, whether I'm hovering or I'm doing figure eights or I'm doing a 3D flying, whatever the case may be, I'm always in this mode because I enjoy the sensitivity and the power that you can achieve um, out of this mode. Um, in all honesty, I rarely fly in normal mode. I actually probably never fly in my normal flight mode. You know, I wind up the helicopter, I kick it into idle one, bring it up into a hover, make sure all the systems are working, and then I'll kick it into idle two and I'll go crazy with it. So, um, I really hope this video helped you guys. Um, we kind of, you know, just to, to recap, we covered the three different pitch curves, three different uh, throttle curves to use. Um, once again, these are mainly going to be for your electric helicopter setup. Nitros are going to be a little bit different. So uh, if you're running Nitro and you're interested in learning more, shoot me a, a message or something. I can make you up a video. Uh, but for electric use mostly, um, you know, these are all pretty good stock bone setup curves. And uh, they, they should get you up to where you need to be to where you can uh, fine, fine tune them to, to suit your flying needs. Um, other than that, I will, as I stated, make a video to... Uh, show you how to actually program these into the helicopter using your radio, your pitch gauge, things like that. Um, do take note, I will be using a fly barless system, um, but I will talk about how to do it with a fly barred uh, helicopter as well. So um, that, that basically concludes it guys. I hope this uh, video was helpful. Uh, please by all means leave me messages or comments and also as always if you've got anything to add or you feel like I left something out, or you've got some more info or tips for me, I'm always uh, ears open, I'm interested in learning more myself, so um, feel free to do so. And as always, guys, remember, if Freddy can fly, so can you. Thanks for watching.